How's it going, everybody? It's Yeong here, and welcome to a Metal Gear news update. The following information comes from a Hideo Kojima panel at RTX Sydney, which was hosted by Greg Miller, where Kojima talked about Death Stranding and other aspects of his career, including Metal Gear. He was actually asked a number of questions about the origins of the Metal Gear series, and he offered some interesting insights that I figured was information worth sharing with you guys. Now, interesting to note is that as soon as Greg Miller started asking Kojima questions about Metal Gear, Kojima's immediate response was that he doesn't really want to talk about Metal Gear. I don't think the response had any ill will behind it or anything, but I also do get the sense that Metal Gear is still a sore topic and that Kojima is keen on looking forward to the future rather than dwelling on the past. However, after the one comment, Kojima did indulge in some of Greg's Metal Gear questions and he shared some cool info along the way. The first question that Greg Miller asked was about how the idea of Metal Gear came about. According to Kojima, originally the project that was Metal Gear wasn't intended to be a stealth game. Originally, Kojima was offered to make an arcade-style war game that takes place on the battlefield where people shoot at you and you'd shoot back, and the game was to be made for the MSX. However, Kojima and company found that the MSX didn't have enough processing power to realize such a game. So what Kojima did was reassess the situation so that instead of having to fight your way around the battlefield, you'd have to sneak through it. This would not only ease the payload on the hardware itself, it was also an idea that hadn't really been tried before at the time. So yeah, Kojima didn't immediately come up with the idea of making a stealth game. Circumstances kind of forced his hand to come up with that idea, but it was a great idea nonetheless, one that took the shape of Metal Gear for the MSX, a fantastic game for its time. Greg then asked Kojima if he ever expected to be working on this series for years and years to come, to which Kojima responded that he made Metal Gear 1 with no plans for a sequel. When making Metal Gear 1, his goal was to make a game, complete it, and get it on sale. Simple as that. However, after making the first game, Kojima started to develop ideas for new mechanics that he wanted to implement in future entries. For example, he really wanted to allow players to hide under desks or inside lockers, and then have the camera shift perspective depending on the space that players are hiding to make the feeling of hiding and sneaking around feel scarier and more intense. While these ideas couldn't be implemented in Metal Gear 1 or even Metal Gear 2, due to the fact that the hardware at the time could only produce 2D graphics. When the PlayStation was announced and Kojima learned that it would allow for 3D graphics, he immediately jumped at the opportunity, as the hardware would finally allow him to implement ideas like perspective changes. Thus, Metal Gear Solid was born. Now, while the game is technically a sequel to Metal Gear 2, Kojima views it more as a reboot for the series, since he essentially took all the ideas from the first two 2D Metal Gears and applied them into a 3D environment. This explains why Kojima decided to name the game Metal Gear Solid rather than Metal Gear 3. The slightly different naming convention indicates that a major change has taken place for the series. So in that sense, you could say Metal Gear Solid is kind of a reboot. The conversation then shifted to Metal Gear Solid 2, with Greg asking if Kojima was ever worried about the reaction he would get from players finding out that they would be playing as right and for most of the game instead of Solid Snake. Kojima's response was that he wasn't so much worried as he wanted people to be surprised, after which he expressed his views on how sequels should be handled. The way he put it was that if you make a sequel that is exactly like the first one, then you might satisfy 100% of the audience, but the series and the fans would make no progress. But if you create something different for the sequel, half of the people may like it, half of them may not, and you might lose 50% of your fans, but you also have the potential to gain 50% of a new audience while making progress for the series, accelerating its growth, and taking it to a new level. According to Kojima, he'd much rather risk satisfying only 50% of his fans to make progress 
then satisfy 100% of the fans and make no progress at all. This was the mentality that Kojima had going into Metal Gear Solid 2. And while Kojima didn't flat out say this, I think he was also low-key addressing fans' reactions to Metal Gear Solid 5. This game was probably the most drastic departure that the series has seen from traditional Metal Gear formulas, and it was received with mixed reception. There are those who love what MGS5 has to offer, and there are those who hate it. For Kojima, it seems as though this was a venture worth taking, even if it ended up dividing the fanbase, as it did allow him to steer the series into a different direction and make some form of significant progress, even if it wasn't the direction that some fans might have wanted. I myself appreciate the fact that Kojima has this kind of mentality. I think this approach is what keeps his games from ever feeling stale. You may not always enjoy the direction that he takes his games, but all of them bring something new, surprising, and even controversial to the table, and I'd much rather have that than a barrage of rehash sequels a la Call of Duty or Assassin's Creed. That's just my point of view, though. Alright, so that's all the insight Kojima had to share on the topic of Metal Gear during his RTX Sydney panel. So with that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know in the comments below what you think about Kojima's insight into the origins of Metal Gear and his views on making sequels. And to be further updated on all things Hideo Kojima, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah! I'll see you guys next time. Young out!